Globally, forecasts estimate that dementia cases will rise from 55 million to 78 million in 2030. Dementia researchers have now formed an investigative group to look into a concerning link between long COVID and dementia and how the neurological impact of COVID-19 on the brain can accelerate dementia symptoms. Thus, more than ever, it's important to know dementia and know Alzheimer's. It is so important, early diagnose, um, early diagnose and also spotting the signs uh, for dementia. Um, you might find that somebody might be a bit confused, memory loss, and instead of having to worry about that, the best thing you can do is go and see your GP, explain that you find you know the differences that you might find in yourself or in, on a family member, and then get a proper advice and maybe that GP would refer you for, to the memory clinic, for example. The government's dementia strategy, launched two years ago, recognises that care is continuously evolving and one of its aims is to set up a national dementia committee to ensure a seamless dementia journey for service users and their carers. In 2019, it was launched by the then Minister for Health, Neil Costa, and um, we can say that some of the things on the strategy uh, GADS has participated too and we have tips, you know, for example, that we've got a day centre, that we've got uh, two purposely built uh, care homes, but there are many other things that still need to be done. And one of the most important things on the strategy is that we need to establish a national dementia committee uh, with a dementia coordinator and which, uh, with a dementia manager. Now, to date, nobody has been selected to form part of that committee. Assistant living is something that GADS has been calling for for a number of years. It is so important that a person can be actually accommodated assisted living at quite early stages of the condition. Now, assisted living is not like many people think, well, they can go to Bishop Canilla or you can have a flat in Albertriso. This is completely different. We could use Bishop Canilla and use one, some of the, one of the flats, for example, just to have 24 seven carers. It's also very important that we see more and more people becoming dementia friends. We need to see not only just the general public becoming a friend, but we need to see all government departments becoming dementia friends so that we can all work together and make Gibraltar a dementia friendly society. Friday kicks off World Dementia Month with a flag day, followed by an information and awareness day on the 18th of September in Main Street opposite the Cathedral.